So a new mod for People Playground recently came out, which included this acid map right here. I am currently in a rescue helicopter because someone has already got themselves stranded. So we need to go to their location right away and try to rescue them before they go into the acid and then dissolve. That is what we don't want to see today. Well, we, we kind of do, but we'll uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, just while I'm making my way over, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to see more People Playground videos from me. Oh, look, there he is. He's got a flare. Okay, buddy, hang in there. Right, how are we going to do this? Uh, can, I, can I make this thing hover by any chance? I'm just going to have to be really quick with this one. Okay, there we go. All we need him to do is grab that. All right, nice and easy now, nice and easy. Oh, this is so difficult to control. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> That's it. Okay, buddy, just grab it. It's kind of swinging out of control. Oh, we just hit him in the head. Sorry about that, bro. That's it. Get ready to grab. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so difficult. Oh, he's got it. Yes. All right, we can get out of it now. Let's go to safety. Yeah, we can't actually reel him in. I probably should have designed this helicopter a little better. I didn't actually make the helicopter, but I did attach the rope to it. Why did I not make it reel in? Now he's just flying all over the place. This is the worst rescue helicopter ever. All right, we're going to take you to land, get you away from this acid where it's safe. All right. <laughs> Wait, is my back wheel on fire? Is it supposed to be on fire? Just, oh no. Oh, 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 the wall. Of course there's a wall there. Oh no. Oh, oh geez. Is he okay? No, I, I don't think he is. Oh no. Anyway, let's just go ahead and mess around with the acid. We have here a diver, although I would highly recommend you don't go diving in acid. That is a very, very bad idea. But you know what? We're just gonna whoop, put him in anyway. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Right now, let's see what happens to him. Oh, he's just laying there. I wonder what his suit is made out of. Usually they die like straight away, right? Let me try with this guy. Let's see what happens to him. I mean, he oh, there we go. Look at that. Yes. He's like corroding away. Oh, why is his face still there? Y you'd think that would also go as well. But look at him now. He's literally just a skeleton. But what about SCP-173? Let's see what happens. Is anything going to happen? Oh, that's weird. Oh, he's sinking. So that's it. it. It doesn't have any effect on him. But because he's like made out of concrete and he's so heavy... He just sinks to the bottom like that. Is he actually made out of concrete? I'm not too sure. I think he just has a concrete-like texture to him. He looks so sad. Goodbye, SCP-173. Gone, but not forgotten. So we've tested on a couple of people now, but let's see what happens when you put a building on the acid. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, that guy is just corroding away. Look at that. So apparently their face is just don't and this guy's feet are also okay that's really strange doesn't seem to have any effect on the building but if i go ahead and unfreeze it let's see what happens oh so it's slowly sinking but it doesn't seem like it has any effect on the actual structure itself although the ragdolls of course have not made it out alive goodbye building gone but not forgotten Okay, so I have here a wooden raft. Now, let's see what happens in the acid. We also have two survivors here. Oh, it's going down. It is going down. So what ends up happening with wood is it slowly crows away just like that. And there's going to be literally nothing left of it. Look at him go. Look at that. That looks insane. I am still just really confused to why the heads and feet remain, but the rest of the body dissolves like that. <laughs> <laughs> and also the lights are still okay i should also mention i am no scientist i don't really know what corrodes and what doesn't corrode like i don't even know what type of acid this is who knows who cares okay so i've gone ahead and lined up a bunch of different characters to go into the acid and see what happens first up we have this robot go nice front flip oh electrocuted okay interesting but i don't think the acid actually has any effect on the robot other than electrocuting it oh no we electrocuted the diver oh no down he goes oh he's dead as well now oh no poor fella i'm not gonna lie i was not expecting him to die from electrocution hi i'm dr bob good luck bob down he goes i'm gonna assume that he's just gonna dissolve like that and then the bob will be the same the bob head yep 
Okay, uh, great testing there, Dr. Bob. And now this is an interesting one because I really have no idea what's going to happen here. I have here a character which is wearing a hazmat suit. Now, if you remember, obviously the diver survived wearing a suit. So let's see what happens here. I might have just... I killed him. I snapped his neck. Inject! Ugh. Did it work? Oh, wait, no. I think he just dies instantly because of the acid. Yeah. Hazmat suit did not protect him. Oh, took his head off. My bad. And now we have SCP-049. And down he goes. Okay. Is it having an effect on him? I can't tell. I think he's actually okay. I mean, he's struggling a lot. But other than that, he's actually all right. He's still alive. He can survive the acid. No way. This is why we do these experiments in People Playground. Because you just never know who's going to survive. Oh, look. He's regenerating. That's why. So the acid does have an effect on him. But because... He can just regen. He's absolutely fine. Let's throw him away. And now we have this stick man right here. <laughs> okay, this is a really interesting one. Um, I'm very interested and intrigued to know what is going to happen here. So uh, in you go, buddy. Oh, wait, what? He gets electrocuted and his arms have turned blue. What? And his feet green. I am so confused. I was not expecting that at all. And now we're going to move on to the alien xenomorph. 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 Oh, he's very buggy. Okay, anyway, let's just put him in. Down you go. Oh, wait. Why is he being electrocuted? Did he electrocute him? Or is he just reacting to the acid in that way? I'm not too sure. Doesn't he have acid in him anyway? What about Siren Head? Oh, that's... <laughs> I've launched him across the map. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, buddy. Um, anything? Oh, wait a second. What? He's turned into a giant skeleton. <laughs> what? He actually looks better like that. That's even more creepy. Anyway, get back in the acid. I never want to see you again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the acid tour bus. Our first stop is the acid sea. It's also our last stop. Hooray! Everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, man, this map is messed up, but I love it. Right, I'm intrigued to know if this works or not. There is actually a parachute in People Playground, so if I press this, it should open up. All right, come on. I can't, I can't press it. Uh-oh, he's going into the acid. No, open the parachute, open the parachute. No, oh, it didn't work. And now it's like disappeared. Great, there we go. Right, I've managed to open it, and he's still going down pretty fast. That looks like bubble gum. That's not going to do anything. This isn't a parachute. This sucks. I mean, yes, his speed has decreased massively. If he was like to hit the floor, he's probably going to die. In fact, let's test it out, shall we? Right. Oh, he's actually all right. And now he's going up. That, this is a weird parachute. This is so strange. Wee. Oh, uh oh. Um, oops. This poor guy right here, he's about to get punched into the acid by this boxer right here. So, here we go. And... <gasps> oh, down he goes. <laughs> oh, man, this acid map is so much fun. I actually love this thing. If you have any suggestions as well, let me know. Moving on from the acid, welcome to the Torture Factory 2. This is my first time checking this mod out. I have no idea how it works just yet, but it looks pretty insane. So let's head up here. Let's actually have a look around. So we got a lever here. I don't know what that is doing, but if we go to the top, it says here, spawn humans on either side of the funnel conveyors. Okay, so here. The swinging axes are known to break. Pull them down to fix them. Okay. Healers between floors do not work 100% of the time. To activate the incinerator, pull the activation switch down and hold down the button. Okay, um, do I just... Should I put two on? Oh, there we go. All right, and now activate. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh, these guys are so screwed. There's nothing they can do. So this guy's going in first. He's going to get stabbed a couple of times. Oh, right in the knee. Oh, and then the neck. Oh. This machine is, it's just, it's savage is what it is. Look, all I'm saying is if you are the creator of this mod, you are a madman, okay? You're a madman. 
<laughs> you're evil. Well, I say you're evil, but literally a couple of minutes ago, I was throwing people in acid. So, uh, yeah. But you know what? It's people playground, all right? This is what the game is all about. Kind of, right? There we go. It's super loud as well. What, what are these anyway? Lasers? I, I, I have no idea. It, it's really evil that, you know, they get brought back to life only to be murdered again. Oh, no, he's stuck in the conveyor belt. Oh, ne never mind. Just <laughs> never mind. All right, one of them has made it to the bomb. The other guy keeps getting stuck, as you can tell. Oh, there we go. Whoa! What? Now we're at the bottom. We need to figure out... No cats hit. What? Okay. Anyway, we need to figure out how we use the flamethrowers. So do we just do this? Oh. And then what? Press the button? Did that work? Oh, yeah. Of course, we have to hold down the button. First, pull down the lever and then hold it. Here we go. And... But... Bird? Um, flamethrowers. Are you going to work anytime soon? Oh, there we go. Okay. I got it. Yes, we're cleaning up the mess. Lovely. Clean up when I'm free. This is such a cool creation. I love this. It works so well. You know what? I want to see what happens to a robot. So, obviously, it's going to be a lot different to a human. But let's just see what happens, I guess. Down he goes. He's going to get shot, I'm guessing. Yep. But because he's a robot, he's made out of metal. I don't think that will kill him. Yeah, look at that. It's not doing anything to him. Now, moving on to the axes again. I don't think this is going to do too much damage to him. He seems absolutely fine so far. Oh, he's getting, he's getting knocked around quite a lot, though. What about these worm things? I forget the name of. Oh, he's dead. The robot is... Well, I, I say dead, but you, you know what I mean. And, oh, see, that's, that's the worst part right there. Him being electrocuted like that. What about fire? Will fire do much to him? Let's find out. Fire! I mean, he's already dead. He's made our mail. Is there any point in me doing this? Probably not. We should probably just stop right now. Right, I've got to try this. SCP-096. Very hard to kill. Let's see what happens here, shall we? In the torture factory. He's dead already, isn't he? Yep. Okay, great. He is no match for the torture factory version 2. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, I want this in my next SCP facility is all I'm saying. This is the perfect way to get rid of them. Oh, into the lasers now. He's alive again, but only to be killed over and over. Wait, what, what is he doing? He, he's too tall. Oh, no. He's stuck. Oh, let me let me help you out there a little bit. Come on. Get those dangly legs out. Come on, buddy. There you go. And now into the fire pit where I will burn him. Yes. There we go. Now let's see what he looks like once the fire has been put out. Is, is he going to be okay? No, he, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Don't worry. I got this. There we go. You okay, bro? Help me. Well, there's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to also comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!